Have you ever taken a moment to think about how we as humans understand language? Like, really think about it. It's so second nature to us that we don't stop to realize how much our brains are actually doing. A single sentence, let's say, I saw her duck, can carry so many different meanings. Are we talking about a bird? Is someone bending down to avoid something? Or maybe, weirdly enough, it's her pet duck. And yet, in a real conversation, we rarely pause to untangle these possibilities. Why? Because context fills in the blanks. It's what makes human communication so fluid and intuitive. But for computers, oh, it's a whole different story. That's where natural language processing, or NLP, comes in. Now, at its heart, NLP is about bridging the gap between human language and machine understanding. It's how your phone knows what you mean when you say, set an alarm for tomorrow morning. It's why a chatbot can answer your questions without sounding like it's straight out of a 1990s infomercial. And yet, even the most advanced systems are still scratching the surface of what we do effortlessly every day. To understand why, we need to dive into how NLP actually works and why language is such a fascinating puzzle for machines. Let's start with the basics. When we talk about language, we're not just talking about words on their own. Words carry meaning, sure, but their true power comes from how they interact. Think about synonyms like happy and ecstatic. They're similar, but not identical, right? One suggests a mild joy, while the other bursts with intensity. And then there's grammar, how we arrange words into sentences. The dog chased the cat means something completely different from the cat chased the dog. The words are the same, but the meaning flips entirely depending on their order. Machines need to understand all of this to process language. And that's where things get tricky. In the early days, NLP relied on rules. And I mean a lot of rules. People would manually program instructions like, if you see the word bank, check for nearby words like river or money. To figure out the meaning. But here's the problem. Language doesn't fit neatly into rules. It's messy, nuanced, and constantly evolving. Just think about slang or idioms, phrases like break a leg or spill the tea. Without context, a rule-based system might take those literally and, well, good luck figuring that out. This is where machine learning revolutionized NLP. Instead of writing rules, we train models using data, lots and lots of data. Think millions of books, articles, conversations, and so on. The idea is to let the machine learn patterns on its own. For example, it might notice that the word bank often shows up near words like account or loan in one context and near words like river or fishing in another. Over time, it starts to associate words with their most likely meanings given the context. Speaking of context, this is one of the hardest nuts to crack in NLP. Let's take a concept called tokenization. It sounds fancy, but all it really means is breaking down a sentence into pieces or tokens that the machine can analyze. For example, in the sentence, I'm feeling blue, the tokens might be I, am, feeling, and blue. Simple, right? But here's the catch. Does blue mean a color or does it mean sad? A human can figure this out easily because we consider the sentence as a whole, but machines have to be trained to do this. And then you've got challenges like contractions, I'm versus I am, or compound words in languages like German that string a whole phrase together as one word. It's like teaching a machine to take a puzzle apart before it can even start to solve it. Then there's sentiment analysis, which is about understanding the tone of what's being said. This is where things get emotional, literally. For example, that's amazing sounds positive, right? But if someone says, oh, that's amazing, with a sarcastic tone, the meaning flips. Humans pick up on sarcasm, humor, and even subtle passive aggressiveness. But for a machine, it's a lot harder. Sentiment analysis models rely on clues like word choice, punctuation, and even emojis to make an educated guess. It's not perfect, but it's getting better every day. And don't even get me started on ambiguity. Human language is full of it. 
ever heard of garden path sentences? They're structured in a way that leads you to one interpretation only to surprise you with another. For example, the old man, the boat. Wait, what? Read it again. In this case, man is a verb meaning to operate. It's a real brain twister for humans, so imagine how a machine feels. One of the most exciting parts of NLP is generation, teaching machines not just to understand language, but to create it. Think about chatbots, virtual assistants, or those AI-powered text generators that can write essays or even songs. How do they do it? A lot of this comes down to something called deep learning, which uses neural networks, complex systems inspired by the human brain. One groundbreaking approach is the transformer architecture, which powers models like GPT. These models don't just spit out pre-programmed responses. They predict what comes next based on everything they've learned. It's why they can hold a conversation or mimic different writing styles. It's pretty mind blowing when you think about it. But let's be honest, NLP isn't perfect. Machines still struggle with nuance, cultural context, and the kind of common sense we take for granted. For instance, if I say, it's raining cats and dogs, a machine might think I've gone completely bonkers unless it's been trained to recognize idioms. And even the most advanced systems can produce errors or biases, especially if the data they're trained on has its own flaws. So what's the key takeaway here? It's that NLP isn't just about teaching machines to understand us. It's about understanding ourselves. When you try to break language into patterns, rules, and structures, you start to see just how rich and complex human communication really is. It's not just about words. It's about connection, emotion, and culture. Every time we teach a machine something about language, we're also learning more about the way we express ourselves and what makes us human. And that's what makes NLP so exciting. It's not just technology for convenience, it's technology for understanding. From helping people with disabilities communicate more easily to breaking down language barriers across the globe, NLP is opening up possibilities we're only beginning to explore. Who knows, maybe one day we'll have machines that truly understand us, our intentions, our emotions, our quirks, as well as we understand each other. Until then, it's pretty incredible to watch them learn.